published 15.38 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 30th of April 2018, updated 5.42 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of May 2018 as is tradition. The annual critique of the PFA Awards is in full flow and Gary Neville contributed to the debate by listing his own choices for each of the official awards. Throughout Sky Sports coverage of Tottenham's Premier League victory over Watford at Wembley, the former Manchester United defender set out his take on the soon-to-be-concluded season. The pundit began by dissecting the PFA team of the season, where he made four changes. Sergio Aguero was removed from the PFA team of the year by Gary Neville after leaving the only United player, David De Gea, in goal. Neville elected to swap Nicolas Otamendi for Tim Mate and club captain Vincent Company, labelling the Belgian as the source of City's strength and courage, before swapping Andrew Robertson in for Marcos Alonso, as he moved on into the midfield, he was left to compare two or of City's biggest hitters this season who were surprise omissions from the official team, Raheem Sterling and Leroy Sane. On this occasion, despite tipping Sane to become one of Europe's most dangerous wingers, he opted for Sterling, who comes in to replace Tottenham's Christian Eriksen. What made me go for Raheem in the end, were the big moments throughout the season. The Bournemouth away game, the Southampton away game, Huddersfield. Three moments that get lost in the season but have influenced Aguero, left, was omitted from the team while teammate Raheem Sterling was brought in Sky Sports pundit Neville gave his views on the official team released earlier this month after praising some of the most bitter rivals of his former club. Neville was then, however, able to omit a former enemy who has given United nightmares for years, Sergio Aguero. Instead, he included Roberto Firmino, describing him as the catalyst and even went as far as to suggest Pep Guardiola would prefer him to lead City's line. He added, he doesn't get the credit Mohamed Salah has had this season. For me, Firmino deserves to be in that side alongside Harry Kane, Vincent Company, Andrew Robertson, Raheem Sterling and Roberto Firmino all came in one. Wayne Rooney vs West Ham 2. William vs Brighton 3. Charlie Daniels vs Manchester City 4. Victor Wanyama vs Liverpool 5. Jamie Vardy vs West Brom during the final Monday night football of the season, Neville went on to have his say on the rest of the awards that are dished out at the annual ceremony. After naming Wayne Rooney's long-distance strike against West Ham earlier in the season the goal of the campaign, Neville went against the grain with his next choice. The Player of the Year award is the one they are all chasing, and in Neville's, and much of the Premier League's eyes, there were only really two contenders for the prize, Mohamed Salah and Kevin De Bruyne. While the former went on to win the coveted prize, Neville felt De Bruyne had more of an impact on matches and was more influential in a game's operation. Mohamed Salah was naturally one of the front runners for a number of Neville's awards. Wayne Rooney's stunning strike against West Ham earned goal of the season for Neville so much so, that he even made a brave statement, if he was taken out of City's team, I don't think it would have happened, he said. That's how big an impact he felt De Bruyne has had on Pep Guardiola's Premier League champions. Next three awards that followed were much more expected choices, with Neville sticking to the obvious choices by naming Salah the signing of the season, saying the season's best young player, Guardiola manager of the year and Sterling the most improved. No brainers, according to Neville, Neville selected Kevin De Bruyne as the player of the year above actual winner Salah and with De Gea taking the crown for goalkeeper of the year by being announced in the PFA's official 11, Neville stuck to that by backing a servant of his beloved United, in particular, he referenced the wonder save that sits firm in the memory of United and Liverpool supporters in a goalless draw at Anfield back in October, his, De Gea's, save against Liverpool was the standout save for me, Neville said. It is unbelievable that, the reaction, the speed of the feet, everything about it is absolutely brilliant, De Gea, he makes save that, for me, nobody else would make, he's stuck by former teammate David De Gea by awarding him the save of the season as he moved into the final two of the evening, it was down to the two players that have been giving managers a tactical headache all season long. And naturally, it seemed only fair that they took one each. Salah took the one-to-watch crown, with Neville eager to see if the Egyptian can replicate his unexpected brilliance from this season that has seen him compared with the likes of Lionel Messi. And so, it was left to De Bruyne to take the moment of the campaign, with his strike against former club Chelsea before Christmas one Neville felt was fitting to be a season-defining goal. 
He reasoned, it was the first time that I thought this is a different city, the full list of former Premier League winner Neville's take on the annual PFA awards.